All right, guys, so my stock finally arrived, um, so I'm just going to crack into the box right now. And by the time that I actually got the stock, I have already taken my rifle to the range, and it did fire 500 rounds flawlessly, so that was pretty nice. Um, of course, I didn't have the stock, so it didn't quite look how I wanted it to, but it's not like that really mattered for function, so... Anyways, now that the stock is finally here, I can get the rifle completed and fully flat dark earthed out. Um, I'm going to take this off. And as I thought, the invoice was underneath this box, so we'll just take this box out. So now you can see this is the Magpul CTR stock. And this time it is the right one with the mil spec buffer tube. So let's just open up the box. There's a paper that warns you about the mil spec buffer tube versus the commercial buffer tube. And to make sure that you got the right one. <clears throat> We've got a Magpul sticker, and we've got a paper that's just how to install the stock. Um, it's pretty simple, but it's a little bit different than how the traditional M4 stock goes on. So, I'm not going to read it all exactly, but um, basically you have to actually pull down on the pin with your finger instead of um, just pulling up on the lever. I'll show you that in a second when I take the stock off of the rifle. Um, and then here is the flat dark earth stock. And the way to tell whether it's a mil spec or a commercial is this is the mil spec, this end plate, or um, this recoil pad is relatively thin compared to the commercial one. You'll see it's much thicker if you, if you get the commercial version. So basically how the stock works is you push down on this and it unlocks this lever and that's how you can adjust between your six positions and then you lock this back up and it clamps it down nice and tight and the stock won't wiggle at all but to install it you actually have to pull down on this little black pin on both sides even further than it does just by doing that you have to pull it all the way to the bottom of that notch so basically like that and then you can slide it on and that's actually pretty difficult to do and it hurts your fingers a little bit but it's really only got to be done once. Whereas with the traditional M4 stock, as you can see, you just pull down at this back end here and pull down all the way and it slides completely off and you can put it right back on. So I got that off. Now we'll just take this and put it on here and push that to give us a start. And there you go, it's on all the way. And now you can adjust it to whatever length you want it. I'm just gonna run mine all the way back because that's what this rifle's set up for right now. Push this up and that stock does not wiggle at all. So there you go guys, that is the conclusion of my flat dark earth rifle conversion. Um, at this point I've now got every part and unfortunately I did not get any range footage from when I went out and shot this rifle. So maybe that'll happen next time I go to the range. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please be sure to click the like button as that does help me out. Also, leave me a comment about anything that I did well at or anything that I can improve. And if you would like to see more of my videos, then please do click subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.